Calamity Ganon. Boom! <laughs> Did I scare you? No? Oh, well, okay, never mind then. Hello everybody, <laughs> I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You find us atop the Satori Mountain, there you go. We're at the Muglatan Shrine, and we have two um, different shrines to find just above us. So we're going to go for, I reckon, that one first. So let's swap you for a good old green, and we're going to swap you for a good old pink. Seems to be the order that we do stuff in at the moment, so let's get cracking. How many shrines do we actually have left? So that's one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Is that it? We, we, we literally have eight shrines to go. Oh my god. <laughs> that could mean that probably tomorrow's episode may be the last one for quite some time. How weird is that to think about? Oh, jeez. That, that one did make me jump a little bit. <laughs> right, so over here somewhere, there is a shrine. I have absolutely no idea where, but we're going the right way. Can't see anything on the surface. So this might be like a mountain hider. Although, what is that on top of the, um, the big thing? I don't even know what to call it. I don't know what kind of, like, plant or what kind of structure that is. But you see that weird little, like, thing sat at the top of it? Oh, it's a cast one. Look, you can see casted on the edge there. Bloody hell. Here we go. This is going to take us about half an hour to figure out, isn't it? Let's get Rivali's Gale up there. Start climbing up this thing. God, Rivali's Gale barely makes it up that high. Jeez. Right, up you get. Look at it. He's made like himself a little home up here in all sorts. What does this say? Cass's Journal. Oh my god. Let's have a little read. The Ancient Song of Pago's Woods. Ah, cool. So he just sort of talks about each of the songs that he's aware of. Interesting. I wonder if that's like a cheat sheet. Probably is. Maybe once we talk to him now, we'll, we'll find out. When the moon bleeds. Oh, God. Oh, uh, excuse me. Was that a bit rough on the ears? Oh. Ah, you've done well climbing all the way up here. I know a song about this place. Care to hear it? Oh. Yep, yep. Let's find out what it is. When the moon bleeds and the fiends are reborn, the monks will invite you as they have sworn. But first you must stand on the pedestal bare with nothing between you and the night air. Right. So stand on it naked mm. at night time. I mean, there, ha there has been a blood moon. Like, quite recently. Oh, wait, you have to stand on it when it when it is a blood moon. Are you kidding me? How am I meant to know when it's going to be a blood moon? Oh, that's bull. That can't be right, surely. Hold on a minute. Let's drop, let's drop a bundle of wood. Let's say on fire. Let's get it to night time. Let me take off all my armor as well. Oh, that's going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Um, where is it? Remove, remove, and where is it? Remove. There we go. Oh, also my shield as well. Make sure I'm bare for the night air. Uh, materials, last page. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Drop, and thwack, and fire, and sleep. Oh, God. It is, isn't it? It's, it's going to be a case of waiting for a blood moon. Is there, is there any way of knowing when a blood moon's going to trigger? Is there any way, like, is it is it on a set amount of days or time or anything? Or are they seemingly just random? Oh my god. See, this is where that um, new waypoint thing would be really handy. You know the thing that's coming in the DLC? Where you can set a custom waypoint. Because whenever the blood moon would rise, I could literally just run over here straight away. Um, or I could teleport over here straight away and just sit on it. Ah, oh, dude. It's not even remotely close to anything either. That's the problem. So even if I did tr see a blood moon, I could probably fly from there to there, but I don't know if I could beat it. Well, that one's annoying. Uh, I'll tell you what then. Let's put a star back on there. There you go. Or maybe even now, I'll tell you what. Let's put a skull. A skull for blood moon. That'll do the trick. Um, right. Next up then, we're going to head over to there. Let's go to that tower, I reckon. Back to Ridgeland. All right. Nothing to it but to do it. Up we go. So how far away is this one then? I probably should have checked with the uh, the old binoculars or the Sheikah Slate before flying off. Can't imagine it being too far away. I don't see it immediately, but I'm gonna guess it's gonna be on that little like you see that like almost like stone platform over there. That screams interaction. So let's make a little beeline for that. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, oh! 
Tell you what, I've never actually seen them fight back and actually, like, get a thwack on them. Do you reckon they're capable of winning? If you stand there long enough, do you think they win? Oh, I almost want to find out. Tell you what, they're good at blocking with their shield. That's something I don't do nearly enough. I think she might win this. Play some bets in the comments. Lefty versus righty. Lady's the left. But Coblin's the right. It's a blue. It's a blue but Coblin at that as well. She's actually going to win this. I mean, I guess they wouldn't let an NPC die, would they? Oh, no. Oh, dear. She's been knocked out. Let's see if she wakes up, though, and see if she cracks on with it. Because he's not going to regenerate health over time, so... She, she might wake up and take him out. Come on. Look at Link's foot twitch, his back foot twitch, whenever the Hinox jumps. Because <laughs> obviously his collision box is moving, so Link ever so slightly moves because of the left target. She's not waking up, is she? Oh, that's a shame. Alright, well, she set us up for a pretty nice kill, so... Let's get the sneak strike in. There you are. Alright, wake up, buddy. Oh, see, now you wake up. No, nah, I bet that's because of the... I bet it's triggered, because I killed it. Hello, friend. You were doing alright. See, I'm naked and I did good. Ugh, oh, what hurts worst is my pride for letting them get the drop on me. Never again. Kilton at the Fang and Bone is way more interested in researching monsters than any normal person should be. Oh, yeah, cool. So you heard about him as well. No prizes for us, though. Oh, don't, don't be stasis in things. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, God, I've not even got a bow on me. Oh, another tick. Uh, falcon bow? Oh, no, sorry. Let's get one of my spread ones. Let me do that. Oh, buddy, old pal. I'm gonna fight him naked. Yeah, go on then. Master sword, nothing else on. Let's take him out. Go on then, go on then. One more hit. Yeah, look at that. Easy peasy. The wind cleaver. I do quite like that weapon. It has that almost like streak of wind that it blows out, doesn't it? So let's get rid of the Korok seed. We'll bring that with us. Ready for this? Oh, wrong one. Sorry, I didn't have it equipped. I'm there, I'm there wondering why it's not working. You gotta put it on, dingbat. Ready? Oh, didn't do it. Try again. There you are. Yeah, look, that time it worked. Ooh, are those truffles? No, they're razor shrooms. God damn it. Disappointed. Isn't even beginning to cover it. Is the shrine detector going to go off? Yay, nay. That would be a nay. So it must be on that platform that we were talking about before. Oh, no, it's not, is it? Because I've already been on that before. That was where we got into a, a bit of a pickle with all those guys. So is this a cast situation? Let's see. Anybody chilling out over the edge? Oh, it does look a little puzzly. Is it going to give us any kind of NPC to teach us how to figure it out or not? Oh, yeah, look. Oh, this is the one. This is the one that I was talking about the other day. The one where we ran past Cass on the way to go and get that um, fallen star. It was definitely this one. Oh, my friend. My buddy old pal. Show us how to get this fixed. ba dam bam 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 do -do 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 -do, and he's now dead. <laughs> the music tried to trigger there, but barely gave it a moment. Aww. Oh, I did not hear you approach. I was lost in this song written by my late teacher. He passed away several years ago, you see, and this was the last song he taught me. <sighs> Excuse me, I fear I may have gotten carried away. Nostalgia will do that to a person. I know a song about this place. Would you care to hear it? Yep, go on then. Let's have a little listen. When a single arrow threads two rings. Yeah. The shrine will rise like birds on wings. Easy enough. Just got to find the sweet spot, haven't we, with them? Figure out where to shoot. I wonder if this is like a multiple solution one. Let's have a little look. The two rings. <laughs> Giggity. Could we potentially get it from this angle? Oh, God, sod off. Oh, it has to be a singular arrow, doesn't it? So I'm going to have to get a regular bow out. Uh, let's quickly sort this guy out with his own sword. Why not? Oh, Drink's protection. Oh, then it worked. Oh, yeah, it did. Just knocking him back slowly but surely. Oh, a theory. Yep, gotcha. I forgot those can appear in the overworld. It's not often, but it, it does happen. Come on, kill him with his own thing. No, it's not working, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. I like that. Ready? Wait, what? <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, normally he's meant to punch the ground, but he didn't bother. Is he stuck? Oh, no, no, that one works. That one works. Okay. Up you go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bloody hell. One more in the face. <laughs> I still... That first one was still the best. That's amazing. We'll swap out for a cleaner wing cleaver. Bloody hell. That was funny. Right, what we got? So two arrows can't go through that one. Although, I reckon we can shoot two arrows through that one. It's probably not the intended one, but I reckon we can make that happen. If we get the ancient bow out, I reckon that could reach. Uh, no, that's the wrong menu. Where is it? Ancient bow. Right, you ready for this? Did that not... What? That defo must have gone through, right? Fire. And there. Yeah, look, there you go. I'll have to have a little look around, actually. I am intrigued to see if it's a multiple choice. Because that one, I don't think many people would have would, would have noticed straight away. Although, having said that, I imagine most people would have shot at that one from the other side. I think I just did it the awkward way. <laughs> right, there we go. Good. Yeah, because I imagine most people would shoot from that side, and then it just ends up hitting the hill, doesn't it? Because it certainly looks easier to fire from there. Let's have a little look. So, yeah, I bet you people stood here... And I bet they would shoot that way, wouldn't they? Let's have a look. Yeah, like everyone would just do it this way. Oh, actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, you can't even really stand here. Hmm. Maybe I've just gone ahead and found something that some other people might not get. Oh, why, thank you, Ravali. Very much appreciated, friend. Is there one on top of here? Oh, there is. See, I wonder which one you can get from here. I reckon that would... Oh, that would go through there as well, wouldn't it? I reckon if you do that... Oh, I reckon that you can get that through. Oh, a little bit more to the left. Oh, sugar. Try again. Yeah, look, that one would work as well. Don't know if it would trigger it, but you can shoot it through both. The Sheen Dago's Shrine. What an interesting name. I was looking away from the screen. I was sending the tweet. What what did it say? <laughs> Does anybody know what it said? I never read it. I'm not going to know what it was called now. I'm going to have to see it in post. Uh, let's have a little looky then. So you're going to go to there. And you're going to go to where exactly? Oh, you're going to go to there. Interesting. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I guess both can go. That's all right. So you're going to land on there. Then does that release another one? Oh, it does. Interesting. There you go. Nice. Then you're going to turn that way. Perfect. A little bit dodgy, but got it in one. Got it in one. Look at that. Voila! Magnifique. Okay, um, there must be a chest around here, right? Is there a chest inside this shrine? Doesn't look like it's inside of here, but the side wall of this is open. Nope, also nothing there. Hmm. Where is the chest? Wonder if you press it again if a, if a chest comes out. No. Can you get back if you were to fly over there? Oh god. Do I try to find out or not? We try to find out. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, look, there is as well. Ah, look, there's the chest as well. Okay, that's cool. Oh my god, a great thunder blade with plus 15. There is no way the one we currently have equipped is better than that. Let's have a look. Oh, no, wait. Plus 13. But it's 45. Was that one also 45? No, 47. Okay. So there's a slight uh, difference between them. Tell you what. I'm going to put a loot icon outside of this um, one. Oh, no. Got them. Oh, jeez. I only just made that. I'm hoping you go forwards and then up. <laughs> Are you going to elevate? Yeah, okay. Cool, good. Can you imagine if you just got into the wall? It's like, well, I've done half the work. I go along, you go up. Seems like this is a shared partnership. Look at that, 10 spirit orbs. We have not been cashing those in. Let's see if there's um if there's a, a goddess statue nearby where we need to go. We are on the final 10 as well, according to that. 
the final 10 shrines in the entirety of Breath of the Wild. So let's have a look then. So the map is very, very clear now. So why don't we go to the... There's one near Gerudo Town? Really? Let's go there. Oh, um, actually, do we? No, no, no. Let's carry on as we have been. We can go, we can go there at the end of the episode. Um, that looks like it's up the mountain, so I'm thinking it's going to be best if we jump from the top of there. Top of the Gerudo Canyon. Where in the world are we? Uh, let's see. Let's plop down a marker. There we go. Swap you for the green one. Let's get moving. See where we're looking. Uh, where is it? This way. Oh my god, I forgot about this area. Oh yeah, it's the one that's surrounded by all the horrible goopiness. You can see Gerudo Town all the way from here. You can even see the bazaar from here as well. Jeez. Right, so over here somewhere, there is a, a, another shrine. Oh, whoa, whoa! That's a lot of fire! What's going on there? What in the world is this? Oh my god. Gorons. <laughs> Pump it up, brother! Oh, it's the fourth Goron Blood Brother! The one who somehow beat our famous gut check challenge! This is our ancestral training ground, little man. We're smack in the middle of a contest of endurance. Uh -huh. Feel the burn, brother! We're training to become even manlier Goron men, brother. Right now, we're competing to see who can beat the heat. Oh, oh so sweaty, brother. Of course, since you beat the gut check challenge, you'll want to try this too, yes? We're Gorons, but we can't really stand this extreme heat either. That's why we came here to train. After this, we'll be able to handle the extra heat in Goron City no problem. Hey, uh, I have an idea. Come join us. Yeah, come try the contest of endurance yourself, brother. The contest of endurance? Good answer! A guy like you has a burning passion in his belly. Ah, it's inspiring, brother. What have you got to do? Oh, it's a hot plate! Oh, I get it now. When you're ready, step up onto this platform, then the contest of endurance will commence. Okay, oh, I just realized I'm naked. If you leave the ring or pass out, it's all over. You lose. Got it? Okay, now prepare yourself for the... Ooh. Contest of Endurance! Go! Oh, it's gonna get hot. Okay, let's see how we go. So, if I were to hold my sword... Let's have a little looky. If I were to hold uh, this one... Does that cool me down enough? Not quite. What if I were to put on just like a teeny tiny piece of armor? What if I put, it, put my hair up a little bit? <laughs> oh, I'm getting tired. Oh, it's too hot. Uh, someone's waving. Uh, not yeah, no. Oh, I can't go on. Is that where I'm? Uh, piece of ca uh, uh, cake. We win. <laughs> We'll just put on the fire-resistant armor if we really, really need to. You're amazing! I would have never thought that the three Goron Blood Brothers could lose to you, brother. In fact, I'm granting you the highest honor, the chance to participate in the cont uh, what? The contest of the ultimate endurance. Yeah, it's where our ancestors trained. It's considered the toughest test known to Goron kind. Oh, that one looks extra. Look at that. It looks like the floor is magma itself. Uh, you see this ring behind me? The one surrounded by fire? Do you feel it in your gut? What a bad idea it is to go there. Your gut is dead on, brother. Yeah, the special training area is even harder than the last ring. <gasps> this contest won't just challenge you with heat, but also with fire. If you lose your focus, your body will catch fire. Make sure you're prepared for this, <laughs> brother. Right, so I'm probably I'm going to need the fire resistant stuff. Okay, I can throw the armor on. Let's go. He's <laughs> they're all like, ooh, ooh, ooh. right. Hold on, let's throw the armor on then. Uh, how many pieces do we need though? Let's try just putting on the leggings to start with. Let's have our top out. There we go. Uh, is that heat resistant gear you have there, brother? A real Goron man shouldn't have to rely on wussy stuff like that. Goron up and take the challenge without any help. Oh, okay. 
So if we take the trousers off, we'll still stay relatively cool, won't we? Uh, I didn't think they would uh, see through the tricks. Let's have a look. Right, here we go then. Let's see. Ultimate endurance. Oh, God. <laughs> Is there anything I can drink that can help me right now? Do I have like a fire resistant potion or something? I feel like I do. Oh, yeah, I do. Drink. There we go. Flame guard. Six minutes. I almost want to take a, a selfie with them. Should we do that? Where is it? Camera. Uh, actually, that's quite a nice shot there as well. There you go. Nice. Just going to run around in circles. I'm going to work up a sweat. My soul is on fire. Fire, brother. We're doing all right. How much longer do we have to wait, though? Seize the heat, brother. Got two of them riled up. What about the third one? Burning soul. That's got to be it done, right? Hot like lava, brother. Come on, get your hands in the air. A real trial by fire, brother. Yeah, gotta get burned out. There we go. Ugh, so <laughs> epic, brother. What a powerful display. What fire. That was something else, brother. Oh, and then the shrine. Oh. That was a shrine challenge. Oh, I'm with you now. <laughs> that's cool. I mean, that's one of my favorite, like, shrine quests out of all of them. You don't really have to do anything, but I like the little story behind it. Oh, dudes. Whoa, well, that's a shrine or some such. It really appeared just like that. So the legend is true, brother. You won the contest of ultimate endurance, little man. You're amazing. Oh, baby. The test of will complete. I think I probably wasn't looking at the screen when the uh, shrine quest first popped up. Down we go. Ooh. Still sounds like there's some more stuff going on inside of here. Oh, whoa, whoa. What's this? This is more apparatus, isn't it? Or apparatus, whatever you want to call it. The Chuluna Apparatus. All right. Let's find out what the crack is. Oh, wait. we got to get all these zippies zapped in the same time. There you go. Nice. Whoop. Whoop. And the final one. There you go. All done. Yeah, all done. Cool. That's part number one done. Uh, anything else to grab in this room? Just wondering if the chest is in here. Doesn't appear to be. Oh, God. What now? What now? So we got to get all four of these blowing at the same time, maybe. Hold on a second. If I go like this. There you go. Like so. There we go. And then the last one as well. Oh, they were all kind of going there. Tell you what. Let's move this block over to here. Because that's clearly what needs to happen, right? Oh, I see. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, no. I'll tell you what I can do. I can do that cheeky little trick, can't I? Where if I stand on it, like so. Oh, actually, no, no, wait, wait. Let's do it the other way around. Hold on. If we do it the other way around, basically, I can stand on it and I can trigger stasis on it. And that should do the trick. So, you chill out there. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Go on, you chill out there. Nice, good job. And then I've got to glide over to the other one instead. So, where is it? If I go from up here. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. Okay, well, let's, let's do the other one instead then. Just don't know if the stasis is going to last long enough. Unless, hold on a sec. If I were to place the block on it, like so. Oh, no, I can't see. Hold on, wait. I don't know if this is going to last long enough. I was thinking if I drop this onto here. There we go. Oh, no, because then I can't see it. Hold on a sec. If I go forwards a little bit. Like that. There we go. Okay. Then if I stasis that. And then switch to that. Oh, go on. There you go. Nice. Whoa, jeez. And down you go. And then use the apparatus to get this twisted around. Oh, it was so close. It was so close. Okay, you ready for this? So I've got the block on the other one. I'm going to place that one there. Oh, jeez. Run, 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 run. Run, run. Oh, bloody hell. Turn it a bit. Turn it a bit. Turn it a bit. All four. All four. All four. What do you... What do you mean, no? I was working. Everything was fine. Right, hold on a second. 
Let me get this turned so it's in the position to be blowing all four at the same time. See, that was almost going then. Right, there we go. That, that should be perfect now. So if I just go and stand on it, this is probably a lot simpler of a solve than I was thinking it was. Yeah, it was. Okay. Ignore me. I was really overcomplicating it. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, hold on a second. So I need to stasis that and then run into the next room if I can. That's annoying. Okay, hold on a second then. So let me get myself onto there. Sweet. So I've got to stasis this so it unlocks the door. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Don't worry about it. And then you want to do this. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah, we just about made it. Okay, we're through. We're through. It's fine. No need to go back. No need to go back. What have we got? So we've got the chain. We've got... Oh, you just there could go. Uh, let me use a bomb arrow on you because I've not got the other one. I've not got any fire ones just yet. Right. So what was inside of you, friend? We can even use you to place on that uh, switch, actually. <laughs> Did you see that? When Link kicked it, he hurt his toe. I've never noticed that before. Oh, no. See, that time he was a little bit more smart about it. Let me go around the backside again. Ready for it? <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. That's really cool. Again, it's just like, I'm, even though this is like episode probably 70 at this point, I'm still seeing things that I've never seen before inside of this game, which is fantastic. Uh, we also need to try and drop that side by the looks of it. Is there a way of doing that? No. I'll tell you what we probably could do, though. I bet we can stasis it, can't we? I bet we can stasis that bad boy, like so, and then get this turning around in all the directions. So, got them. You're to there. You're to there. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on then. Good, good, good. And then up to there. Oh, balls. It's really hard to turn. There we go. Go, 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 go. Go. Okay, so up to there. And then up to there. And then up to there. And then like that. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. And the last one. Ah. Oh, dude, how perfect have you got to get that? Okay, so now all we got to get is two sides done rather than like four. So, stasis you. There we are. Go on, twist it. I'm going to go up to there. Oh, you touched it. Come on, light. There we go. Oh, last one, last one, last one, last one. Oh, come on. Light. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, you're actually having a giraffe. Is that all but one side done? There we go. Come on, use it. And then you want to go all the way around like that. I can't move my controller any more contorted than that. Come on. You're touching it. Done. Done. Oh, we're done. Oh, that's so stressful. That is so stressful. I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. 11 orbs in, and how many trines to go? Nine. 11 spirit orbs, 111, 73 combo breaker. Ah. Oh. All right, we're back out in the open world. What are we going to go for next? I reckon we're going to go for the shrine that's within the Great Cliffs. Does that sound good to you? Sounds good to me. Let's go. So this one's going to be interesting because this has been the shrine that's kind of eluded us since we very first entered the Gerudo area. So I'm intrigued to see how this one plays out. Obviously, it's cold right now, but when we get a little bit further in in the second, the temperature is going to vastly change. So let's have a little look. So that's just there. It looked like it was on the ground, the one that we saw back in the day. Ah, oh, see, look, then goes the radar. This is why we can't ever find it because it's just in the middle of nowhere. There's never any glows. There's never any sign of a shrine. Nothing. Can't see a goddamn thing. Was that the shrine? Sod off. That wasn't the shrine, was it? I saw what looked like the top of a shrine just then. Although it wasn't glowing. Let me have a look. Is that it? That was it! <laughs> there you go. I thought that was going to take 20 minutes. First time, mate. First time. The Dakotar Shrine. Just realized that sounds like I'm pronouncing Dakota really wrong. Ooh, the walls are closed in, but I don't think it's a test of strength. No, it's not. What have we got? To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Dakota. I'm just gonna say Dakota. And this is the electric path. Oh my god. We're gonna rock down to Electric Path. Doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? That was the first lyrics they wrote. I came in and tidied it up a bit. Uh, oh, you need electric, don't you? Uh, sorry, my bad. Uh, electricity? Is that the ancient bow? Why am I wasting that? 
There you go. So you're going to wander upwards a bit. Is that your lot? Oh, there's a dude down there. You can freeze for a moment. Whoa, he was about to charge on us. Uh, are we just about to blast us out in the face? No, thank you, friend. What we got here? Ooh, more electricity. So where are you going to? So you're going to go to there. And everything's going to be groovy. So that's fine. Now, what happens if I take that core away? Is that going to stop all moving? Hmm. So how are we going to make this work still? So we take that from here. Yeah, see, that stops moving then. Can you be super cheesy and just... Whoa! Oh, God, just get the life out of me. Wait, 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 wait. I just had a thought. Magnesis. Oh, you can as well. All right, dude. You ready for this? I'm just going to bring Magnesis to here. And as long as I do that, it's always going to stay with us. <laughs> That's so cool. There you go. And then lift it up when it's home time. There you go. And up in the air. Perfect. Nailed it. Right, you're going to come this way a little bit for us. No, oh, that's... I still got a hold of it, apparently, but not sure how. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God, have I broken this? Are you going to come back down, dude? Oh, God, you've gone really far away. Don't do that. Uh, this way a little bit more. There you go. Now you're coming down. So you keep coming down, keep coming down. There you go. Right, chill, 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 chill. Just keep a hold of it for now, because we don't know where this is going to end up. Right, you're going to end up there, where there's a chest, apparently. Does it go any higher than that? Ooh, a moonlight scimitar. Ooh. All right, let me quickly grab you. Right, let's see if you go any higher. Oh, you do. You've got multiple floors. Intriguing. Very intriguing. Uh, is there something over this side that you want me to deal with? No? Probably best if I didn't lose line of sight of it, eh? Don't want to be doing that. Right, let's have a little look at who's down here. Oh, bloody hell. Hold on a minute. Uh, that's the wrong weapon. Oh, my God. Jump, 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 jump. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Guardian sword. That'll do the trick. Oh. I don't need one of these for my quest, do I? I'm sure I got the small one in the other one. Let's just quickly check. Uh, where was it? It was... Oh, no, it's album, isn't it, to get to it? Yeah, album. So, yeah, see, that, that one there I, th I thought was the tiny one, but if I just delete this picture... Just triple check. I see that one as well. Also comes up as a quest one. Hmm. Okay. That's weird. There you go. Oh, you son of a gun. Got me right in the chops. Right. Open that up. Probably push you forwards with some magnesis. There we go. Out you are. Uh, what you got on the other side of you? You've got a ledge up to... There. What is this place? Oh, there's a chest there as well. On the other side of the wall from where we just got the other one. What you got inside you? Mm, ancient core. Okay. Right, let's lift this floor up a bit. Let's find out what's going on inside. Oh, can you not? Really? None of these floors lift. That one doesn't lift. And that one doesn't lift. What about that one? No, that one doesn't lift either. What in the world? Oh, wait, that electrifies the whole floor. Oh, I see. That's what that was meant to be for. You were supposed to zippy zappy those two little guardians. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, just be careful there. It's a little bit too close for comfort. <laughs> right. Let's see what we've got. So when the ledge comes down. If it comes down. Is it coming right now? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, I can just pick it up properly. Okay. Never mind. And we rise. What's going off up here? Uh, nothing major. Oh, we can actually pop that down, so if I just quickly grab you and pop you just... Oh, careful, get on the inside. There you go, just in there. Right, so you move that there. But what does that change? That doesn't get us to the end of the, of the temple, does it? What? Let's carry on going this way a little bit. How the hell are we meant to get up there? Oh, wait, there's a platform there. Oh, so that's how you get over there. I was starting to come up with all these plans in my head, like, oh, I'm going to have to, like, move this iron block from downstairs and this, that, and the other. All kinds of ideas. There you go. Look, you can pull all these around the different sides. Uh, there is a... Oh, careful. Because there is that just there. Tell you what, if I go like that, can I just go over the top? <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> GG. GG. 
Ooh, a radiant shield! This extravagant shield is presented to the Gerudo warriors who rise to the rank of captain. Its apparent opulence is rivaled only by its combat capabilities. Oh, I want it. I want it really bad. What shield's going to get rid of for that one? Um, yeah, you can start off. There we go. This one looks way cooler. Look at that. The radiant shield. Hell yeah. Right, on in a minute. Uh, let me just go like that. There you go. Just climb over the top. And the job is a good one. Yeah. So I believe that sits us now at only eight shrines left to go. I think. It could be less than that. But that is it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we may potentially finish this game. And I'll see you all then for that. Bye-bye.